Hey everyone, welcome back to XFix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the brand new hamburger menus inside of Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in a Wix Studio tutorial website that I have created and all I'm gonna do is come over to add, go to menus and search, and we're gonna see this option right here for hamburger menus. And you're gonna see a bunch of different options here. So for this one, I'm just gonna drag this one out. And typically when you have a menu or a hamburger menu, you're gonna put it in the header. So we'll go ahead and do that for today's tutorial. And I'll go ahead and place it right about here. Perfect. One thing to note about this element here is that it is set to a fixed size, which to me is actually pretty good. I actually prefer it to be a fixed size. Um, but I also wanna mention that as of right now, that the way that this works is this is technically just a button. So a lot of the design features that we see here are gonna be the exact same that you would see with a button. So if we come down to text, we can even add text if we wanted to, and we can like expand it out um, and, you know, and customize this however we want. Of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that because I don't want the text. I will say personal preference. I don't like the hamburger icon to be that big. So I can just go down to icon and set the size to maybe be like 32. And honestly, I think that looks a lot better. But like I kind of mentioned, a lot of the design settings are the exact same as any other buttons. You can go through all of these different uh, aspects and change them however you want. And then you have the two states, regular and hover state. So you can change these up. And I'm not really gonna cover that too much because just like any other button or just like any other element you basically add to the page, you can edit the design settings there. Um, but let's go ahead and check out what kind of settings and stuff that it has. So if we go into settings, of course we can see it says icon only, text only, icon only or nothing. I probably wouldn't even do that. But if we go ahead and click on layout, one thing I actually do really like is that we can align the elements inside of the button box, right? So for example, I'm someone that really likes everything to be consistently aligned to each other. So you can see on this side, I have aligned the logo with the, the content here and it looks really nice. However, even though the button box for the menu is technically aligned, it doesn't visually look like that because of the icon being centered here in the box. So I can just align it to the right and I basically created the same effect. Perfect. But now let's go ahead and edit our menu, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the menu and press edit menu. And what that's gonna do is it's basically gonna open up a light box. If you're familiar with Wix, a light box is basically just a pop-up. We have a whole pop-up we can now edit. Now by default, you can see it has a vertical menu in here with a social bar at the very bottom and then a little close button at the top. And this is a very basic menu and honestly, 99% of the time this will do the job. The only thing I would at least recommend adding here for this version is either a lo your logo here that links to the home page, or you create a new menu. So if you go to manage menu and do a drop down and do manage site menus, add new menu, and we'll create the same menu, but we'll call this one hamburger menu. And it'll be the same exact as the other menu, just with home added to it. So of course we can go to our main pages and we'll just add all of the other pages back in here. Fantastic. And that's what I would recommend doing for a hamburger menu. So whether you add it to the menu or you add your logo that's linked to the homepage, it just gives your users another way to get back to the homepage if that's where they're trying to go. However, I will note, this is just like an, any other normal light box. So you're not stuck just to this vertical menu or this social bar. You can completely edit these however you want. If you wanted to, you could create something that looks like this or even maybe this. Or how about this one right here? As you can see, you can definitely do things just like this inside of the Wix Studio hamburger menu. It just takes a little bit more work and it's not the default one. And if you wanna see me create one of those, I am actually planning to record another exclusive video for our YouTube and Patreon supporters. I may actually turn that section into a template, sell it on my website and give it away for the pro members for YouTube channel and Patreon. So if you wanna grab a copy of the section, just know that all the links will be in the description below. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really, really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.